Clover Cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. And there's lots of love in this kitchen this morning, I can tell you that, as we prepare to make something super simple but super tasty, because sometimes the simplest things in life give us the greatest pleasures. And here to enjoy the simpler things in life that we're about to make today, which is a clover herby baked feta, perfect for you. We have, of course, Mamdileka Mandela, joined by uh, Anel Potgieter, best friends. That are besties. <laughs> how, how did the two of you become friends? Well, we met at, uh, as, 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 as medical reps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, way back in the day. Way back in the day. Over yeah. 20 years now, and here you are reunited on TV. Yep. Absolutely amazing. Um, what are we going to be making, Anel? We're going to make a gooey, warm feta bake with lashing, lashings of olive oil and olives and rosemary and thyme. Mm. And we're going to sweep it up with a crusty bread. Oh, my goodness. Mom, that... like, is this something that, that would tantalize your taste buds? Oh, well, not necessarily. If, if, I don't, if I don't like olives, what do I put? I Tomatoes, like Sliced wow. tomatoes okay. or red peppers okay. or green peppers or anything like that. Okay. But let me show you how. Okay. Yes, let's get it back into it. So you take that and okay. you pat it dry. Okay, so this pat is our feta thing. cheese, right? Okay. okay, so just put it on the plate. Here's another one. So By the way, do like I have food. a question. Uh -huh. Why is a uh, feta cheese preserved or packaged in, in water like it is? Like it needs to go into a brine. This is a salty brine to yes. keep it fresh. Otherwise, it's just going to froth, actually. Oh, OK. You know what I'm saying? So it needs to go in a brine, a salty brine, like any preserves, preserve, yeah, okay, to preserve, preserve it, yeah, okay. because it's like a fresh thing. Okay. Now you can just add some like some um, olives over it. Mm -hmm. okay. These are, of course, the pitted <laughs> olives, right? Yeah, it's pitted olives. So, and as I said, if you don't like olives, you can use anything. Beautiful tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, right? Sun dried tomatoes, okay. yes. Especially those that are that are already soaked in some olive oil oh, and vinegar, yeah, those yeah, delicious okay. ones. So you can put a bit of that on. Okay. I must don't say that so I... Don't be so skimpy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm don't be so skimpy and stingy. <laughs> I, I also, at some point, I didn't like olives at all uh -huh. until I went to Spain. Really? And uh, had fresh olives with uh, rebojito and uh, was enjoying just the Spanish vibe around and it okay. was the most beautiful thing ever. So I wonder whether, um, is it, that's, that's why they say olives are an acquired taste, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It takes you a certain kind of and, moment and, I mean, or instance. I don't have herbs in my garden. Don't I mean, you have a herb garden? garden? Seriously, Anel, where do I get <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a bottle of like oregano well, or something well, in your in your I'm, cupboard? I, I, I'm, I'm good. Yes, I do. Okay, you can sprinkle that over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grow some some uh, weed. Can I put, put some weed? <laughs> <laughs> Yes! No, censor that! Oh. Censor. <laughs> it's too late, it's live TV, baby. <laughs> no, but the medicinal one. For medicinal yes. purposes, are now. Yes, for okay, for medicinal purposes. I mean, yes. it's been cannabis. decriminalized, yeah. okay? Yeah. Cannabis. I but don't mean weed weed, I mean cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to put some lashings Ginger. of beautiful, ah. drizzle it with olive oil. See, that could be your CBD oil as well. If yes, you know, see, guys. Yes. Usable. Yes. Um, question that I have, though, when you do get into the kitchen, Mamdi, like, what do you like to make? What's your dish of choice? My dish of choice is stir-fried uh, paella. Wow. Stir-fried paella. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It's that actually it's a dish that I was taught by Mama Koli, who used to be my grandfather's cook. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And would you give us a quick breakdown about that recipe, Sandra. You know, it's, uh, you have your noodles. Yes. You know, Woolies have made things very easy for us. <laughs> and you have those the chopped um, julienne strips yes. Yeah, yes. With, yes. With, the, with the mushrooms. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you saute that and you, you prepare your fish on the side. You cut it into small pieces, battered fish, and you have your um, prawns. Yes. And sometimes I can put calamari, wow. saute that, and just toss around in a pan. Mm. Voila. A variant of She's flavors. kept her figure for over 20 years. Let me tell you, she eats healthy. I'm the one <laughs> dipping into the wrong stuff. Can I dip into that now? You're can most you? welcome yes. to do so. Because this is 180 so. degrees for yeah. about a half an hour. You bake okay. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yes. then you get this gooeyness. Love must stuff. taste this. Mm. I know you only like healthy food, but you're going to have to taste this. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's a mistake with clover. I, 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 I didn't have breakfast. So I haven't had a breakfast yet. There we go. There we go. Yes, you can dip into it. And of course, with the variants of different flavored feta that you get, this could provide for um, you know various kind of flavor profiles, as I said, on your serving plate if you can mm, okay. for mm. your guests when they come around. So, would you serve this as a, a starter? 
I think mm. you can right. even do it beautiful as a main course with a lovely salad on the side and yes. a beautiful bread. I will serve it as a starter, Delicious. main course, it is divine. Oh, there you go, and you have this beautiful uh, black pepper feta over mm. here, there's the plain one, there's the mixed herb one mm. as well. Of course, clover cheese range includes a variety of different cheeses ranging from cheddar, gouda, tusses, and white cheddar, uh, to feta, of course, and you can use it in your cooking, in your baking, it's perfect as a snack. May I get a taste as well? You oh, yeah. Long. Nice and warm film. Mm. Do you taste a creamy saltiness mm -hmm. and the olives? The herbs yeah. that just gives it a, mm. a round taste. Yeah. I, I, I would definitely serve this up as a starter with a glass of bubbles. Whoa. Just a glass of bubbles while everyone is just yeah. kind of mingling around and getting acquainted mm. with each other mm -hmm. at the beginning of the dinner night. Mm -hmm. No prate, my doll. Oh, listen, I, mm. I'm, I'm turning to be quite an events coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to show you how we made this. Wow. Mm. It's time to get ready for some spring entertainment. Try your hand at making this easy and delicious clover herby baked feta, ideal for those lazy weekend afternoons with friends. Place 200 grams of clover plain feta cheese on top of kitchen paper and pat to dry excess moisture. Then arrange it in a baking tray and scatter over two to three sprigs of fresh thyme and rosemary. Next, add a quarter cup of pitted olive pride Kalamata olives a quarter cup of pitted olive pride green olives and a touch of pride. Bake the feta at 180 degrees Celsius until golden. And serve with slices of toasted chia butter. Become an entertainment pro this season and celebrate spring. It's easier than you think. Made with love by Clover. I've got to say that, uh, well, first of all, SMS Clover to 33728 for the recipe. But for somebody who doesn't like olives, Mam Dilaka has been dipping into this feta dish. Like, I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm staying away from the olives. <laughs> <laughs> but the flavor infusion is certainly mm. there. And I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Anel, well done. Donkey, buy a donkey. I'm sure you're going to use this with a bit of entertaining this summer. Yes, and my daughter is a sucker for olives and sundry to me. Mm. Cool. Infuse yeah. those into the yeah. recipe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if you'd like to try it out at home, SMS at keyword clover to 33728. Try it out and bon appetit. Bon appetit. But clover cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover.